truly fix this is what I discovered so that it'll actually show up in iTunes as you can see my iPod is jailbroken I'll even show you by clicking on one of my folders if it ever loads up alright now you see that's how many you would normally have but I have as many as I want in there at once I also can show you that I have Cydia and other I also have SV settings which is a very useful tool for this kind of thing so what well, you're gonna need jailbroken iPod of course iTunes it doesn't matter it can be the latest version if you have it and but most importantly you're gonna need SB settings and the reason you need SB settings you just go into the city store and just search SB settings I'm pretty sure it's in there and if it's not I'll give you the repo if it's not free okay so once you're in Cydia just go to the search type in S okay, I'll do it like this S ugh, so laggy SB settings it's like it's magic alright now let it just load up and it should just pop up in there and if it doesn't then just go ahead and hit search which I think I'm just going to do because it's lagging but just hit search it'll load up alright so once this finally once it loads up for you go ahead and find SV settings spelled like that click on it and install it it should yeah that one comes with it alright now the reason why you need this is going to need this drop down menu right here you want to go to power and once this pops up you gotta hit safe mode alright then once it goes into safe mode a little wheel will pop up and then once it does this it'll bring it into safe mode which essentially just turns off every city at any or any Cydia Tweak or anything else you may have installed from Cydia turns off any themes that you have it's just like it essentially puts it back to before you even thought about jailbreaking it alright now once you get this this is essentially what it's gonna look like when it's in safe mode slide to unlock and as you see up there it says exit safe mode and it's just got all of my apps all over the place now it doesn't matter where they go they're just all over the place but the background is white that's how you definitely know that it's that it's in safe mode all right so anyway once you're done once you have it once you have it in safe mode here, I'll move my camera just put it down make sure that it's connected to iTunes or make sure it's connected to your computer and when you bring up iTunes there it is Actually, you know what? I'm just going to record that. So I'm going to go over to my computer real quick, and I'll show you. Alright. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So once you're on your desktop, just go to iTunes, or wherever you have it stored, it doesn't really matter. And once it pops up, you'll see devices. Oh, and look, there's your iPod right there. And it's all because of safe mode. And I have tried this, I've tested it out, and you can actually put whatever songs that you want on there, or at least that you have in your library. So you can completely, you can clear off your, you can, if you've bought apps, and they've disappeared off of your iPod, they're right there on your iPod now. You have full access to everything that it shows you here, you look at your photos, you can, or you can add more photos to it, you can add more books, whatever the case may be. You can even update it if you have that kind of thing. Again, I'm right. I'm running 4.2.1 firmware, and this is an iPod second generation. And it works with all generations, I would assume. I only have a second gen. I apologize for not fully thoroughly testing this out, but I can almost guarantee that it will work for you. Now, there's a lot.